Yo, 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 what's going on, people? This your boy, Double R, man. Shouts out to the real BRC. Yeah, so let's go ahead and um, talk about this lockdown event that just happened this past Sunday. Um, I want to talk, I know I did a, a recap and, you know, I was talking about it as it was going on, you know, just to bring the news to y'all. But I want to talk about it, you know, a little bit. You know, I got to get up out of here in a few, but I'm going to chop it up with y'all for a little bit. Um, Smack has to do a better job, man. The URL has to do a better job. There's no way around it. They have to do a better job, man. You know, like, the battlers have to do a better job. Like, everybody has to do a better job. You feel me? Like, to me personally, the only person that really had a real good showing was Geechee. Um, and even he can step it up promotion-wise and, and step it up outside of the actual stage. You feel me? Um, a lot of people will say, well, K-Shine. A lot of people will say, well, this person, well, that person. Um, this is just my personal opinion. Motherfuckers got to step it up. Way too much choking. Way too much for getting out of rounds. Way too much recycling of the rounds. Um, it's way too much activity. And also, um, I was listening to Norbs a while back, and he was talking about that stage. It's way too many motherfuckers on the stage that don't even need to be on the stage. That's not even supposed to be on the stage. Smack need to have, like, the main people that's going to be on the stage. Like with Cassidy and Arsenal. Uh, Gilly is cool. Whoever Cassidy Entourage is, is cool. You know, but all those extra people on that stage, they can get the fuck off. You feel me? Whoever Arsenal Entourage was, is cool. But ever, whoever they got can get the fuck off. And so forth and so on. In, in each and every other battle as well. You know, in each and other, every other battle moving forward. You feel me? Um, that's the problem with smacking the URL, man. Um, and I know why it's, why it's going on. And why they might start ramping up the security and stuff like that because of these events. They need to do something. Me, personally, um, it's too early to talk about that right now. Nah, fuck it. Me personally, uh, with the exception of maybe somebody else, um, I'm probably not going to order another Smack URL event. Not even because of uh, what Cassidy did or, you know, what happened. It's just just the whole events that Smack, that smack throw. Just the whole shit be like, it's too much chaos. And then the battle rappers themselves don't be on a job. Niggas is getting paid to come out there and, and practically do nothing. You feel me? Fans are spending their hard-earned money that they could be spending on something more important to be entertained. And these niggas half-assing that. You feel me? Then you got a whole bunch of fake-ass tough guys coming to the event. You know, and then you got real thorough motherfuckers coming to the event that's not playing no games. You feel me? That want to protect and want to serve and make sure that whoever they protecting and serving gets in and gets out cleanly. And you got these fake ass perpetrating ass niggas coming in there, you know, fucking it up. You know, then you got a lot of these snake ass niggas, platin ass niggas coming in there. You know, ready to start some type of fight. Ready, ready because they jealous, because they hating. Like, it's too much of that. And then Smack, he have to do better with his, uh, with his, like, with his, uh, uh, uh broadcasting. His broadcasting, that's where it goes, that's where it is. His broadcasting team. You know, they too biased. Jay Black, um, those other dudes, Anwa, all these other dudes are too biased. They even had a female up there, too biased. Then they need to do a better job with these crowds, man. But what will fix the crowds is adding more uh, security. Adding more reinforcements. You get secure, you get more security in there and ramp it up on reinforcements. And trust me, you ain't gonna have no problem out of them niggas. Stop being so cheap, Snack. Stop being so cheap, Beasley. Stop being so cheap, Chico. Or whoever is in charge. Stop being cheap. 
and go ahead and get the reinforcements that you need, man, so people can get a good show. Battle rappers, come in that joint with full rounds. Come in that joint knowing your rounds. Come in that joint giving the people what they want. Put your all into your craft, inside and outside of the ring. People spend their hard-earned money to come see you battle. Money that they can spend on other things. I spent my money to see y'all niggas work. And all I seen was a bunch of fucking fuck-ups, a bunch of errors, a bunch of fucking excuses, and all that shit, man. A bunch of chaos. Come on, man, we ain't got time for that, man. All y'all niggas is doing for real, for real, is confirming the stereotypes. That blacks can't do nothing on one accord. That we can't work together. That we can't get through nothing cleanly without a whole bunch of chaos, without a whole bunch of jealousy, without a whole bunch of, you feel me, hating. Like smack, something got to give, man. Something got to give. Because after I seen what I seen Sunday with that whole event, if this continues to go on, not only are you going to be done, that shit ain't going to elevate. That shit ain't going to go nowhere. It's going to stay the same. That's why it stayed the same. You've been around since 09 and that shit ain't gone away. For real, for real. And make sure when you book people, make sure when you bring people aboard, that's going to help you move this shit forward. Make sure that they are fully equipped to do so. Y'all just got to make sure everybody are on they shit, man. They keep smack walking around. They keep calling him the, the godfather of the culture, the godfather of this, the godfather of that. He look like he they fucking friend. He walking around uh, to do Ace Admin that I just learned about. Rest of these dudes in interviews. Geechee was in the interview. Smack ran up to him, hugging him, and you know, walking all through like that's just like a fucking parent. And not, you know, saying Smack is their parent, but it's like a parent um, being a little too friendly with their kids. They gonna take you for a joke. That's just like an old head being a little too friendly with a youngster. And talking like a young nigga and walking like a young nigga and dressing like a young nigga. That young nigga ain't going to take you seriously. That young nigga ain't going to respect you and give you your proper respect. Because you he look at you like he look at himself. More smack. You got to do better, man. Like, you know, or it's just, it's just what we said, man. You just don't care. You're just trying to get this money. That's why you smiling around these niggas. Because you know you raping the culture. You know you raping these niggas. Not literally. Figuratively. Let's talk the real, man. We can't continue to go on with this thing. URL. You know, RBE creeping up. King of the Dot creeping up. Everybody else creeping up. And these niggas, these battlers too, man. Y'all niggas got months and months to prepare. Y'all got all type of cosigns. Y'all got all type of motherfuckers coming in this shit that y'all can benefit off of. Y'all, y'all got all the things y'all need in y'all possession to be successful. And y'all just are just okay with subpar. That's why y'all niggas get out there and have subpar performances. Subpar bars. Subpar elements of rap. That's if anything. I literally watched Calico get out there and choke. Then I found out later, shouts out to my brother, Nap City. With Nap City Barism. Go subscribe to him, Nap City Barism. I found out by my brother, Nap City, that Calico was uh, recycling the shit that he put on Instagram. The raps that he put on Instagram. Then went over that shit in the, in the battle. We seen him. Go over his shit in the battle again, rewind it back, and try to rap it again. Come on, man. Calico, you been around how long? I can literally look y'all into the face and say the only person that that really gave me my money's worth, and I, and I ain't even... Well, I did expect 
Geechee to do Tay Rock how he did him. But I didn't even expect Geechee did better than Cassidy and Arsenal did put together. Facts. And I want to say this is, you know, while we on that topic, I want to say this too. That will be the very last video about Cassidy when it regards to that whole situation with Arsenal. I think I've proved my point. I think I've made my point. You know, no shot at Cassidy. No shot at the real BRC. Same way Cassidy said about these battlers. It's the same way I'm saying about him. Get on your shit. It's the only thing. Get on y'all. Get on your shit. I'ma get. I'ma always stay on mine. Get on your shit. We learned that from you. So I would not be making any more videos about that. About Cassidy and Arsenal. That's only if nobody that's in my family makes any videos or Cassidy himself don't feel some type of way and make videos. I'ma leave it alone. If that don't happen, I'ma leave it alone. You know, because I think people got the point. But the whole the, the event as a whole was garbage. Be honest with you, I haven't even really well I've only seen um two pay-per-views. I only ordered two pay-per-views. The resolution and this one that just passed the lockdown. And the resolution event was as a whole was a whole lot better. But it still had its problems. Smack still took forever to start the fucking event. In between each battle, he took forever. It's like this time he did a whole lot better with that. But he had mic issues. Then the battlers came unprepared. When they got all this time to prepare. Stop partying. Stop clubbing. Stop thinking you already made it. And get on your shit so you can make it to where you want to be at. That's the problem. These niggas be already thinking that they made it because they hanging with stars. Because a lot of stars are entertained. You got to realize. These stars are entertained. By you battling. You have to find a way. To capitalize. You have to find a way. To, to really. Um, compensate. And really make money off your craft. And make big money. To where as though you can flip it. And get even bigger. Before you start like really. Like maybe like Loaded Lux or like Moot. Before you start really getting out here. And that's the thing. These niggas do get a little taste of fame. Get a little taste of being around niggas that's famous. That's accomplished a whole lot. And they think they those, they think they those niggas. Come on, man. Like, come on. You know, this shit go hand in hand. Ain't no... It's on Smack and it's on the Battlers. Point blank, period. Y'all are putting out a product, Smack. Y'all are the product, Battlers. Now it's time to give the people that are spending their money what the fuck they want. Niggas ain't coming this niggas ain't coming spending their money to hear a bunch of excuses. Niggas ain't coming coming to spend their money to hear half ass fucking material. Hear half material. To hear that somebody that they wanted to see and the reason why they spent their money. To hear that that person is not going to be showing up. And that you're going to be replacing it with another garbage ass nigga that's going to be unprepared. Let's talk about it. You feel me? Like Smack, we got to do better Smack. And I've been saying this from the jump. And the fans as well. Like y'all niggas need to stop. You know, start boycotting this shit. If this nigga not going to give y'all what y'all want, and he not going, stop paying for the shit. Stop supporting the shit. Until this nigga do. Until he step up. That's why I have yet to buy the app. That's why the only pay-per-views I've seen involve Cassidy. Resolution. You feel me? Um, Lockdown. But we had a slip up just 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 past uh, Sunday. But at least with Cassidy, I know what I'm gonna get. I know he gonna entertain me. I know he gonna do everything that he need to do outside of uh, the ring. I know he's going to be inside of the ring and give me three four rounds. 
whether the shit is, is what I expected or not. That's one thing we can't take away from him. He ain't going in there doing no choking. He ain't going in there for getting his rounds, half-ass fucking material. You know, but come on, man. Like, shot, I heard Shotgun Shug was choking. You feel me? I came in on um the, the second battle. I think that might have been Geechee and Rock. I came in on that battle, and I watched all the rest of them moving forward. That's why, if you notice in, in a lot of my videos, I kept on saying, yeah, we going to, uh, I'm going to break down JC and Shug. But my wife had, you know, let me know and informed me that they had already battled. That's the one we missed. So I didn't really get to see that one, and to be per and to be completely honest and perfectly honest, didn't really care too much about it anyway. You feel me? But you know, it is what it is, and like that's some sucker shit too. Um, JC too, man. Jag tried to reach out to you, and you ignored it. But that could have been the difference in your battle being great and ending up how it did. Ain't nobody talking about that battle. But everybody is talking about Jay. You put him in. Like these niggas. These niggas don't think. Like they don't think. They don't use their brain. You know the one person that actually thought and used his brain? And it's funny. It's ironic right? Because the person that actually used his brain was the one that I felt like had the performance of the night. That did better out of everybody. Geechee. Geechee sat up there and he soaked in what everybody was going to say, was, was saying about Tay Rock. What Tay Rock was doing himself. And he said, okay. He took advantage of what was, what, what was presented in front of him. And that was Tay Rock acting like a whole ho out chair. And he played with that angle the whole night. Mixed punches in there, did this, did that. Geechee, the only person that took advantage of the opportunity that was in front of him. And like I said, this is why he's the champion of the year, and this is why he probably will be the champion again. The rest of these niggas is looking like champions of failure. And if Smack don't get it together... This shit ain't gonna go to where, where we uh got aspirations of it going. More now, like, this shit is... Like, first of all, I know we can't control the crowd. We can't... The crowd is what it is. The crowd, you know, smack made it that way. The batterers made it that way. Because half of these niggas can't do this. Half of these niggas can't do that. And smack don't really know what's really going on. He just was a nigga that started off with uh, celebrity beefing and seeing that after watching Cassidy that that uh, URL which is what is known as URL right now battle rap is the way to go that's the lane to go so he don't really know this is the same motherfucker that called uh, had Charlie Clips in New Jersey twerk walking walking past him and he, he called New Jersey twerk he called him New Jersey Clips don't care about the culture, man. Don't care about none of that shit but this. That's why they ain't got no judges. That's why they ain't got no real reinforcement. They keep that keep the battle shit secure. That's why they ain't real got really got no handle, no real handle over that crowd. Also, these battlers, they need some type of uh, 101 classes, some type of teaching classes. A lot of them niggas need to go into some um, some some AA meetings, some alcohol anonymous meetings and shit like that. Some of these niggas need to go get help with their drug habits, their lean habits. Smacking them got so many problems, you know. Got 99 problems and he ain't looking like he trying to fix none. Niggas always wonder why they can't elevate. Because one, they try to be slick. And they try to monopolize and capitalize off the people. You could do that, but give the people what they want. You can't ask for uh, $55, $60. 
in in the event that you presenting to the people. It don't measure up to the money that you asking for. Come on, man. All I'm saying is smack you are real, do better. We gonna talk more about this, man. Might get Jersey on later. Might get one of my brothers on later that I talk to on the regular. And we gonna talk more about this because battle rap. Something must something got to give, man. Something got to give. Niggas gonna have to just keep maybe a, a homeboy or two, somebody, couple people on the stage with him. All the rest of them niggas just gonna have to go get in the crowd. I wouldn't give a damn if if it's so big out here that so many fans out there that make motherfuckers might have to be outside. You might have to set up a TV or something outside for them niggas to watch outside if the building is too old or, you know, pay for a bigger venue. Stop being so fucking cheap. But all these niggas at once been on stage and shit like that, that shit is slowing everything down. These fans and shit like that need to get more order over them. I seen a nigga... Um, literally hop in the, in the Cassidy Arsenal battle, hop on the stage, you know, in defense of Cassidy, hop on the stage, like, niggas shouldn't be able to do that, come on, smack, get it together, it's your boy Double R, man.